Alright everybody, we're going to be doing a little flex today. I just finished this video and uh, realized it wasn't recording. So I'm going to do it again. Here's page 106. Quick register changes, chromatic displacement by Lori Frank. I'm going to the end and I'll go back and break it down after. Number three is particularly challenging. Um, you should not be rushing through like I am right now. I'm just doing that so you hear the exercises and know what we're working on today and decide if you want to stick around to hear how I work on it. sharp and a very balanced effortless <clears throat> not very lipped way because when you're playing this quickly you can't lip this is building off of what we did with sax low range intervals yesterday where we're playing in a way that we can get around the horn quickly with just a quick you know airflow change and that's what I'm going for here you can hear it I think these get more challenging as you go um, I like them. I like to do them all. This next one is really challenging, and I shouldn't do what I'm about to do, but I'm going to just try it for you. So anyways, if I was going to do that one, I'd really have to do 90, 180, 360 patiently to train. In a really effortless way because this one's just not going to work when you're just hammering through it and you're not super calibrated. So sorry you had to hear that, but what not to do. So the way you practice these, 90, 180, 360, put the metronome on and you do straight eight notes. Now I'm trying to think like stamp. I'm trying to not foreshadow what I'm doing. Although I'm sure I'm not perfect. So it's a really quick air speed change that happens immediately. That's really important as you get to like number three. So you really want to have a quick slur in there, not catching. catching notes along the way. And that's an exercise from the beginning of the book, which we can go over at another time. But for today, I challenge you to look at page 106, uh, Chromatic Displacement out of Flexus by Laurie Frank. I think it's a great book, and I think it will serve you well. And I hope that hearing me do some of these, um, <laughs> and fail at some of these, challenges you to you know step up to the plate and give it a shot. I think it's worth it, because I think it further trains you to let go. There's no way you can go. If you're if you're gripping at all, down to the low register. I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now, because I never do that. But I think I'm trying to prove to you that.
I'm trying to stay really firm, nice firm corners, a very solidified loose center here, and I let my air do the work. Okay, and when it's working. Not a good F sharp. That's okay. I'll leave that for the boys downtown. But um, anyways, this is how you uh, work on quick register displacement and flexibility in relation to trusting your air and letting your chops do what they need to do. The air does its work, the chops will take care of the rest. All right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think.